Hey, listeners, you know, the goal of this show is to provide story based leadership lessons that are both inspirational and practical. And my colleague, Dr. Ali Atkinson, does that every day in the work she does equipping and developing leaders. She brings to life brain based communication techniques so that leaders can apply them for greater connection and impact. So each Tuesday in February, she's taking over the daily leadership lessons. Listen in to enhance your communication and connection with the people you serve. Check it out. I mentioned in my previous takeover episodes that I like to share the science behind what often just feels right in your heart. Today is another example of that. There's been a lot of talk lately in the professional realm about the importance of creating psychologically safe spaces. But what does that really mean? Some people hear this term and think it's a little too touchy-feely. Do you have that reaction? If so, I get it. Many of us tend to have the opinion that employees should just show up and do their jobs without all the hand-holding. But as it turns out, creating a safe space for employees isn't woo-woo. It's actually critical for your employees to be productive. If you're not creating a safe space for your employees, then you may be inhibiting maximal brain power. When a person is in an environment in which they feel threatened, questioned, accused, defensive, hurt, or even frightened, they're much less likely to be able to engage in the critical thinking and analysis necessary to move things forward on an idea, project, or task because these emotional responses cause the brain to release epinephrine and cortisol. These are the chemicals involved in the fight, flight, or freeze response. Now, when we're in an environment that feels positive to us, one in which we feel heard and supported, then the brain releases endorphins, stimulating the frontal lobe, which is responsible for higher level thinking and problem solving. So for leaders, the lesson is, Creating psychologically safe spaces isn't about handholding. The science tells us that it's critical for fostering productive employees. And from the heart-centered perspective, it's really the only way to create authentic connections with others. So it's not only good for our relationships to be nicer to others, it's good for business. <laughs> 